Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the spirit that God has given us. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Coming up next. Hey everybody, God has given us one spirit. He's placed one spirit right here within every believer. And that's the Holy Spirit, a spirit that is God within the believer, the spirit of the Lord within the believer, one with the believer. And it's the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So that says only one spirit, right? And that one spirit is not a spirit of fear. We have so many believers who are struggling, guys, so, so deep in struggle, so being hindered by the thoughts, by the teachings, by the ways of this world that flesh has taught flesh. And we need to break out of that and get our minds renewed according to the truth of the gospel, according to who we have now received. That's the Holy Spirit, and he's not afraid. The Bible says that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. That's good news, guys. So we have to remember that the spirit we have is full of power, love, and full of a sound mind, soberness, a clear mentality, self-control, and discipline, right? It's not anxious, stressful, or fearful, and worried about what could happen next, all right? If what you call wisdom, if what you call faith, if what you call Christian altogether, guys, has fear in it, is based on fear and driven off fear, then it is not from the Holy Spirit. The Bible says we are to walk in the Spirit. We are to be led by the Spirit, right? We are to be spiritually minded. So you have to be very, very careful. I don't care if you are a Christian, if you are already a child of God, if you have knowledge of the Bible, if you have biblical degrees, if you go to church twice, three times a week, guys, if your mind is not following your new identity because of the new Spirit you received, the Spirit of God, then you're not going to be living like it and you're decisions are going to be wrong and what you see and experience will not be the gospel. Unfortunately, things come from our mentality, from our mind. That's why it says be renewed in the spirit of your mind, in the knowledge of God. Okay, so if what you call wisdom, faith, and Christian has fear in it, it's not from the Holy Spirit. We have to stop saying, I have faith, but I also have wisdom, so I'm going to be afraid of what God says I have authority over, of what God says to trust Him with, of what God says He has delivered me from through the new covenant, through faith in Christ Jesus. Okay, if the thoughts or the theology in your mind are not strengthening, are not uplifting, giving you confidence and a feeling of having power or authority over the enemy, over sin, by the spirit within you, then it's not spirit driven. It is flesh driven. It is worldly driven. We have to reprogram our thinking according to what the word of God says, not according to the ability of mere flesh. Yes, we still have flesh, but the spirit is in us. And the Bible says he who is in us is greater. The Bible says that Jesus said, the spirit in you is what the spirit is able. The spirit is powerful. Even though the flesh is weak, we have to remember what kind of spirit the Lord has given us. That's what 2 Timothy 1.7 is telling us. It's the Holy Spirit and he's full of power, love, and a sound mind, not fear. Who's greater? What's greater than the Lord himself? If you feel inspired to hate, to lie, or to do anything that comes against somebody, not for the sake of righteousness, just for the sake of vengeance, being vengeful or prideful in some way, then it is flesh driven, guys. It is flesh and not spirit led. We have to recognize what the whole, what is Holy Spirit and what is flesh. What is God and what is man? What is kingdom and what is the world that is in darkness? And we have to think according to the truth that we find in the Holy Word of God. Remember what spirit you have. If it's if it goes against love, if it goes against having or feeling power over the enemy, power over darkness, power over sin, it's not biblical. Okay, which is the only? Listen, guys. The, which is the only? Who is the only spirit? What is the only spirit that we've received from God according to the New Testament? I know there's a lot of 
theologies, a lot of movements, a lot of preachers out there, uh, um, a, a lot of conferences that are based on different spirits, spirit of this, spirit of that spirit. But the only spirit that the Bible says we have received is the Holy Spirit. And yes, he does bring joy. Yes, he br does bring righteousness. Yes, he's, he does bring peace. Yes, he does bring the love of God. But it's the same spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. So we have to focus on him. We have to start feeling more confidence, feeling more strength and power, feeling a greater ability to be able to love and to practice righteousness because a lot of people are hindered by the lie of not having the Holy Spirit or not having a spirit that is full of power, love, and a sound mind. We have to stop letting things and circumstances drive us to fear and drive us to anxiety and stress and worry because Jesus said, don't worry. Jesus said, trust in God, have faith if you only believe. He was telling his, you know, telling people, you perverse, you know, faithless generation. Like Jesus wants us to believe. He said, you can actually move a mountain if you actually believe it in your heart when you tell it to move. But if it doesn't move, that means you haven't been believing. He didn't say, oh, if it didn't move, it's because you got to use wisdom too and run away from the mountain. No, he said, tell the mountain to move. Stop being afraid. Remember what spirit God, your father has given you so that you can walk in power. You can walk in love and you can walk with a clear, conscious, sober, peaceful, sound mind. Let's grow. I hope this word blesses you and I hope it reminds you who you have inside. It's the spirit of the Lord, not any other spirit. Okay, share this video, share this with your friends and family, like it, leave a comment, tell me what you, what will you think guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, okay, if you guys want to buy any free prayer shirts, if you want to buy any Let's Grow in Christ products, go ahead and go to the description below, all of our links are there, if you want to sign up for our free live online Bible studies every Tuesday and Thursday night, sign up on the description below, and I'll see you guys next time, let's grow.